if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on we finna jump into this welcome back to the boot tragedies man as you know i'm looking over the undrafted free agents and i see a receiver from weber state get a quarter of a million dollars now obviously i didn't watch weber state football let's not pretend any of us watch weber state football but i'm looking at rashid shaheed i'm like why did the saints give him a quarter million dollars to a receiver look at his measurables super super confused Try to find some highlights of some tape film on him, and it's all returns. This man had seven return touchdowns in college. Um, all of his titles are basically best return man of all time, these things. So I'm like, oh, it's not even receiver highlights. It's just straight return highlights, and we just going to watch some of them. I don't want to talk about it because, I mean, this kid looks special. I mean, this right here. This is just well blocked, but you still have to return it. And I think I just saw a peace sign. The one thing I did learn about Weber State, man, is they blocked well. Oh, what a move. Oh, what a move. Oh, that punter was in no man's line. Oh, we, we running that one back. Oh, we running that one back. We can talk about this one. All right, right here, he's really done. If this guy just keeps running towards the sideline, he's done. Obviously, he can't cut back into all of those people, but he has to sell it that way. That guy really doesn't know that. So he has to sell that, that cut inside because if this guy's just running to that sideline right there, he's going to cut him off. They're going to stop this play. But watch this fake move inside. Ah, over with. Just that little subtle move right there where he can stay outside, use his speed. Hey, that was good right there. That was a that was a hell of a run, a return. Oh whoa 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 whoa! I already like this right here, man. A punt returner that's not scared to catch the ball. Look at this catch. That's not an easy grab, you know, for a punt returner. Yeah, I don't even care that he got tackled right here. Look at this grab, man. As a punt returner, especially in the NFL, you cannot let that ball bounce right there. That thing will roll twenty yards, and you're just killing your team's field position. But I mean, that's a hell of a grab. Good tackle by them because you know he was off to the races. That's a good punt. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That cut right there, that's an elite return cut right here. This one. <coughs> oh, shit. No, 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 no. We're going to run that back a couple more times. Boy. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, they definitely, he definitely. Oh, he got caught. No, 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 no. We can't get caught right there. Did that say Idaho in the end zone? Ain't no way, but you can't get caught after that move, man. What a move. What a move. This is insane right here. Let's let's point that out. Uh, let's point that out for. This is insane. This is a defensive formation right here. I don't know what type of punt formation these guys are in, but I swear this looked like just five linemen, <laughs> a quarterback, and three receivers. So obviously Weber State comes out. I mean they just come out in the defense and let's just watch this return. This is a defense. This is honestly a defense. This is safe return. No one's blocking for real. For real. Yeah, man, this this kid's elite. So so close, but man, you know, I don't know how, if y'all don't know how impressive this is. This isn't safe. You're just telling him to catch the ball, man. You get five yards and safe return. That's a win. This kid almost house. This is safe. That's impressive. He's obviously dangerous in, with the ball in his hand. I'm gonna find some receiver highlights. He's got to have somewhere somewhere. I got to go find that. Now, right here, this is when I, I was like, okay, this is against Utah. This is against Utah. Obviously, the level of competition in the big sky isn't, you know, the Pac-12 or 14, however many teams they have in the Pac-12 now. This is Utah. This is a top-ranked team. This is a real, real, this is a top-10 team in the country at one point. And we're gone. This is the first quarter, first kickoff. 
against Utah, and I bet they never kicked to him again. I sure, I sure wouldn't have. Look the way he sets up his blocks, man. Weaver State did a good job of, you know, um, returns. But look at those two guys on the outside. Cuts it up in there as soon as he sees the hole. That's over with. Kicker, hey, man, you just out there. Hey, kicker kind of fast, though. Okay, I like the effort. I don't know why you dove, but I appreciate the effort. This is San Diego State. Yeah, this is the Aztecs. San Diego State. Once again, before we even watch the end of this, the way he sets up his blocks, man, this is beautiful. Right here. He know he can't jump outside of this guy. He has to set that block up where he can cut inside. You probably won't get to the outside. Or if you do, you're going to get bounced out and the help's going to be there. Perfect stick in the ground. Sets it up. Squeezes through this little bitty hole. Now you're one-on-one -on -one with this guy. This is a perfect setup, man. That's why he just kind of subtly fakes outside, comes back inside. Now you can beat him outside. And yeah, the rest is history. But hey, I mean... The guy did grab his towel. Hey, give him some credit. Look, he did, you know. Watch him. My guy. And then he ran with the towel in his hand. Look at this kid. What are you doing, buddy? Drop his towel. Oh, there get that peace sign again. Once again, another another good setup of blocks. Good luck at this point, people's. He might throw that peace sign up on y'all one more time. Oh, not that time. Hey, man, this kid's a returner. I don't even need to watch no more. I'm not going to stop it anymore because I've seen enough. He's a special returner. I don't care where he went to school. You can see the elite speed, the elite athleticism. You can change side to side. You can stop on the dime. There's, there's that peace sign. The cut, I know what this sign is about. I already know what this sign is about. And um, Deontay Hardy, I love you. But... Good speed here. But yeah, Deontay Hardy, man, is looking spooky for you. Obviously, Deontay Hardy um signed his restricted free agent tender this year, so he's on the last year of his deal. Now, if he's going to want a lot of money and you got this returner sitting in there, it's going to be tough for the Saints to just pay you as a returner. Obviously, he tried to play receiver last year, and it went, it went okay. I think he was our second best receiver, honestly. He was the only one getting constant separation, but... I mean, this kid is looking like an elite, elite returner. Um, he tore his ACL. That's why he didn't get drafted. He tore his ACL. He obviously had a lot of suitors for him in un undrafted free agency because to give him a quarter of a million dollars, for me, I think the Saints plan is to just have him, you know, probably sit on the practice squad, um, maybe, you know, be ready in December or November, however long it takes for him to get back. I think I read he was four or five months post-surgery. So he's getting close. It takes about nine months to fully you know, get there 12 months to be feeling like yourself. So he's he's getting close with that ACL injury. I think the Saints, I think the idea is to sit him, sit him for a year, uh, kind of see what, how that Deontay Hardy plays out next summer. If he wants too much money or if the Saints can't come, you know, to a deal with him, you got one of the best kick returners in, in college history just, you know, coming up on your team that's already on your roster that's been in the program for a year. I think that could be a plan with the Saints. I'm not sure, but if you give a guy a quarter of a million dollars, you obviously have plans with him. Or maybe he's a good receiver. I haven't watched any receiver film on him or highlights, so I don't know that. But Deontay Hardy, I did think, if you remember me from any videos uh, from, you know, during the season, I said Deontay Hardy fell off as a returner. Hey, I'm just telling like it is. He was elite the year before that, 2019-2020, um, I believe. But 2021, eh, he was mid for his, for his standards. He was very, very mid. This kid... This don't look mid. I'm going to just say that right now. Obviously, this is not NFL talent, but you can see you can see the flash, you know, on the screen. His kids, he's got it. He's got it. So, man, we'll see how this plays out. That's spooky, though. When I was looking for him, I was not expecting to find this. This was great. Uh, Yeah, I don't even know what to say, honestly. I, I don't think I've ever been less speechless because I just thought we signed a receiver. But this guy's a return, man, and a damn good one. So, we'll, we'll see how this plays out, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. As always, this is the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.